Good noon to everyone. This is Dr. D. Kuttika, Department of Commerce with Computer Application, Dr. S. N. S. Rajalakshmi College of Arts and Science. In our today's series, we are going to continue with the corporate tax, uh, and that we are going to <clears throat> check about the newly formed business. So, what is a newly formed business needs for the purpose of your taxation? So, first of all, to start a particular business, what are the tax considerations we have to keep in our mind that will be discussed today mainly. So, the business structure goes on like S corporation, C corporation, LLC, sole proprietorship, partnership, etc. And this affects the obligations of the uh, newly formed business. So, C corporations face double taxation that is once at the corporate level and again at the payment of the dividends to the shareholders. And then we have to find out a TIN that is your tax identification number that is you will need to obtain the employer identification number from the IRS which is essential for the tax reporting. And then we have to be familiarized with your tax rates which is prevailing, that is the corporate tax which is prevailing, which can vary based on the structure and the income level. And next we have to know about the knowledge of deductions and the credits. That is we have to take advantage of the available deductions uh, in our uh, business, that is like your business expenses, salaries and other benefits and the credits to reduce the taxable income. And then regarding your tax, next we have to consider about the estimated taxes. That is, corporations often need to pay the estimated taxes. So, this estimated taxes, it may be paid either quarterly, half yearly, uh, annual uh, in such a way. So, the preference goes on with the particular persons who is running the business. So, the type of the business and the nature of the business and the income of the business will affect the uh, payment schedule. So, this payment schedule can be either your quarterly, half yearly or annual. We have to make sure to calculate um, they meet these on the time. And then we need a proper record keeping. That is, we have to maintain a financial records to simplify the tax filing and ensure uh, that we are doing the work properly. And then next is regarding your state specific incentives. We, we are provided with many incentives. See, in our federal system, we are dividing into your central state and local. And we are identified to pay with the all the taxes regularly and properly. And even we are provided with many incentives for by the all the, um, that is your federal system like your central state and your local structures. So, our local or the state incentives and the credits or the exemptions available to the new business, if this we have to be very familiar about it. So, because the incentives it may be provided to the rural area or a newly started business and maybe there are uh, some concessions regarding other uh, nature of the business also. So, we should have a proper knowledge when we are starting a particular business. Okay. And again. Uh, regarding your research and development credits if your business is involved in r d and we should have a explore available federal and state tax credits and also regarding your sales tax compliance that is if it is applicable we have to understand your responsibilities regarding your sales tax calculations and the remittance and then we have to prepare the audit uh, for the proper audits and international considerations to be done and we have to need a proper succession planning that is uh, preparing for the audit means maintaining all the records properly and then the international consideration is we are doing the business we have to be aware of the tax obligations for the foreign treaties and succession planning that is we have to consider the uh, long term implications related to the business successions or the exist uh, strategies which is available for the particular business. So, in short, when we say, when we are doing a particular business, we have to consider all the uh, tax related as well as the incentives, the benefits uh, and the whichever the things which is provided by the particular concern, that is your uh, 
um, ta- say states for the purpose of your taxes can be considered properly so this will help us to understand that um, we are doing the when we are doing the business in a particular rural or your uh, urban area we are getting many benefits regarding your a business so it depends upon the business structure uh, that is your c corporation or your l corporation or your sole proprietor or your proper uh, partnership or it may be your limited liability partnership the, according to this structure we can decide the nature of the business as well as we can avail the benefits which is provided by all the central state and the local taxes so we need a proper awareness about what all the incentives which is provided by the government and we are uh, responsible to pay the tax and we should have a, pre- a proper record of the audits done by the particular accounts so this is the main thing we have to consider when we are uh, newly forming a particular business so we are yet to continue with the more videos regarding your business like your uh, types or the forms of the business which is available what about your nature of the business etc so please kindly tell, keep in touch with my videos and further videos i need your support also thank you